Hey guys, even here and it is official, Arnold Classic 2020 will be Big Grammy vs Sean Rodden. As you can see, Sean just uploaded this poster of Arnold Classic 2020 and on the cover right here you can see himself, you know, Sean Rodden and Big Grammy. So these guys will be colliding March 5th to 8th, so 8th would be the finals and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that, that's gonna be a really good battle. Honestly, this is gonna be more exciting than 2019 Mr. Olympia. I mean, Mr. Olympia was exciting because that's Mr. Olympia, it's history in the making. Arnold Classic, sure, pretty much the same thing, but it's not as big of a deal as Mr. Olympia because Mr. Olympia winner is considered the world's champion, so it was about who is going to be the new world champion in bodybuilding, the best bodybuilder in the world, but at the Arnold Classic, the winner will probably be better bodybuilder than Brandon Curry. I think at their best, Big Remy or Sean Roden would beat Brandon Curry, but you know, they didn't show up at the Mr. Olympia, Sean wasn't able to, wasn't allowed to actually, and Big Remy for whatever reason didn't show up, he didn't qualify on time, so whatever, I mean, the champion is the champion, it's Brandon Curry, he showed up, he won it, but these guys at their best are better bodybuilders so mr olympia was good but Arnold classic will probably be better because these guys are better bodybuilders right so depending on how they look maybe the winner of the Arnold classic will be considered the best bodybuilder in the world instead of brandon curry right does it make sense kind of i don't know anyways we have a physique update of sean Roden and also big Grammy. so let's go with the sean Roden first and i mean what can i say he looks like shit. I mean, let's be honest <laughs> He doesn't look like a Mr. Olympia winner or Arnold Classic winner or anything like that. He is big, I guess, for his standards in the offseason. He is not that horrible. But, I mean, look, look at the arms. They, they, they don't look full at all. Forearms as well. Chest looks pretty shallow. Stomach doesn't look lean um, or super tight. Lats are looking soft, soggy. Legs are full, but not good. I mean, he's very pale and uh, he's not even hard, not even conditioned. Just, just bad, bad off-season shape. But hey, that's Sean Roden. He's not known for being the most impressive bodybuilder in the off-season. He's actually known for the contrary, for being the best when he is lean. So he shines when he's contest ready. That's his time. In the off-season, he probably just takes it easy. He doesn't really do the drugs as hard, most likely. And then when his prep starts, he probably pushes them to the limits. You know, he pushes the envelope very, very hard, I'm sure, and then he looks super dry, super hard, much bigger, much fuller, and he wins shows and he actually ends up being the best bodybuilder in the world. In 2018, he won the Mr. Olympia against Phil Heath, who is arguably one of the best bodybuilders of all time, really. Who wasn't his best in 2018, but still, he was beaten by this man right here. So props to him, he's a great on-season bodybuilder, not off-season though. But then you have somebody who is actually much better bodybuilder in the offseason. And of course, that's Big Grammy right here. The reason is because he is huge. I mean, he, he is the biggest bodybuilder of all time, probably, in the offseason. He weighs like, I don't know, 350 almost, something like that. At a stage, he was 316 pounds. I think it was 2016. So, how much can he weigh in the offseason? And right here, he's huge, he's full-blown, he's crazy looking. And this is the photo from Canada guest posing. I have a video footage as well, which I will show you in a second. But uh, I just want to say, I mean, he looks impressive in the off season. But when the Mr. Olympia or any kind of competition comes, really, he is not as impressive as he's in the off season because his conditioning is not great. Everybody knows that birds on the trees learn that at this point, which is a Serbian saying. I don't know if you say it in America. Anyways. Uh, Big Remy in the offseason right here looks um, looks really impressive, but who the hell knows how will he look at the Arnold Classic. And if the competition was held today, you know, in the offseason shape, of course, he would beat Sean Roden, but when the competition comes, is it gonna be the mass that's gonna win the show? Is this mass going to be enough? No. If he was in shape, he would be unbeatable. I don't see any bodybuilder really beating him. He was like Ronnie Coleman conditioned. I'm saying Ronnie Coleman, not Dorian Yates, because Ronnie Coleman was the closest to his weight. Uh, Ronnie was 280, I think it was in 3 Mr. Olympia, and Big Grammy was around 300, so from all the Mr. Olympia winners, Ronnie is definitely the closest to Big Grammy, but he was way more conditioned, so if Big Grammy pulled that conditioning off, he would beat everybody, pretty much. But if he comes in his usual shape, most likely he will not end up victorious. 
Still, it's possible. 2017, when Sean Roden was off due to his jaw-breaking incident, he was off and uh, Big Remy was a little bit more on, so Big Remy took second and Sean was like fifth or something. But that doesn't really happen often and I don't think that's gonna be the case at the Arnold Classic. I'm pretty sure Sean will bring his best. Hopefully something that resembles 2018 Mr. Olympia winning physique of his, something dry as that. I don't know if he's gonna go that far. He had to go that far to beat Phil Heath, but in order to beat Big Remy, he doesn't need to go that far. Still, he will have to be shredded because that's his game. He can't go for size against Big Remy, nobody can. Nobody can beat him in that game, but everybody can beat him with conditioning. So, hopefully we'll see very well conditioned for a version of uh, Sean Roden. And that's gonna be an epic Arnold Classic, which is really, really exciting. I mean, we have 2018 Mr. Olympia winner and 2017 runner-up and the star of today's modern bodybuilding, the biggest freak of them all, Big Remy. Last year we had Bonac versus Dexter. Sure, it was a good lineup, a good top two, but not as good as this. A year before it was like the worst Iron Classic ever. Uh, top two was, uh, who was it? Uh, Cedric McMillan and Dallas McCarver, was it? And then a year before we had Kai versus Cedric, which was also pretty good, but because of Kai, I mean, but uh, still I think this is gonna be better. Big Remy and Sean Roden. So I'm really excited about this. Uh, what do you think, guys? Well, whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. I am super excited about this Iron Classic and uh, I hope we will see a good, good battle. I hope Sean will bring his best package, the best conditioning and Big Ram will come conditioned as well. So thank you very much guys for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe and all the best. Bye bye.